Hart reached out to us and asked us if we would review their complete line of lawn care equipment. And not just their lawn care stuff, but their 40 volt brushless line. So we have everything from their dual battery push mower, not just a push mower, this is a self-propelled mower. We have their string trimmer, we have the edger attachment, we also have the hedge trimmer and the blower. And on top of that, we also have a chainsaw, which we've already reviewed. By the way, you can catch that review floating somewhere around here. We've got the link to it. There'll probably also be a link in the description. Anyway, we're going to take a look at each one of these pieces and see what someone that hasn't used these thinks about it. So we've got Rob here and he owns kind of a compound around the town here. Um, he's got several different properties from your auto restoration business and you got a couple of, uh, of residential houses here as well. Kind of got most of the block, right? Yes. Yeah, so he's taking care of several lawns and there's, if there's one thing that kind of has a, uh, a, a theme, if you will, as you walk around and everything's probably V8 powered. Yeah. From <laughs> SUVs to old GM muscle to yep. Corvettes, uh, you name it, it's probably either a big block or at least a, a large uh, small block V8. Um, so I'm just curious, why why aren't you using this lawn equipment anymore? So hard to use. But you mentioned it, it was hard to the crank. Oh yeah, this thing don't want to start no more. It's four stroke. I thought yeah. I'd get it four strokes better than that. Yeah. Now I'm pulling my arm out trying to get it started. And and four strokes are great because they're You don't have easy. to mix the don't oil. Mix. Yep. But there's one thing I notice about a four stroke, they're always heavy. They are very you know, heavy. Because now you got a cylinder head, you got valves, you got all yep. that type of stuff that's not in a two stroke. But anyway, and you got all those attachments here. So if one thing doesn't run, nothing works. Nothing works. So that's why we're going to try out the heart. Have, have you ever done any battery powered lawn care no, stuff? No. So no battery powered lawn care stuff. We're just going to throw ourselves at this stuff, use it, and then come back and see what we think about it. This is the heart 40 volt, 21 inch self propelled mower, runs on two of their six amp hour 40 volt batteries. It actually just runs on one battery, uh, but you have the ability to store two in here. So when one's depleted, all you do is pull this key out, switch it around and it switches over to the other battery. So runs on one 40 volt battery, but again, the ability to store two in here, quickly turn that and get up to three quarters of an acre runtime on this. And it's kind of a three in one. You get a mulching system in the mower where all you have to do just take this plug, push it in the back, close the flap, and now it is a mulching mower because it's going to keep everything trapped in there and mulch that up. And then if you want it to be a side discharge, you lift this flap again with the plug in and then set this right there. Let that close on it and now you've got a side discharge. And then if you want to bag, remove the side, remove the plug. And then just line these two pins right there on the hooks and close that. And now you've got a bagging mower. Very easy to adjust the height from one inches to four inches. So all the way up is a four inch height. You get seven different settings. So easy to raise the whole mower with just that one lever. Very easy to start the mower. You just pull the ring back, kind of the safety ring, if you will. And then you hold the power button down and that's gonna start the blade. And then if you just want to go, you pull the handles and that handles the self-propelled. So you can start the blades and go, or you can just walk with it without the blades going. So not only do you have self-propelled on the mower, you can also set the speed for the self-propelled speed. So if you're a little slower walker, over to the left, you're a fast walker, all the way over to the right and anywhere in between that you would like. You can also adjust that on the fly. To fold this mower up is really easy. Big blue handle right here, big blue button. Pull that up, fold this over, pull the bagger off. And there you go. You can stand this upright, store that away where you need to. You could even put it in a closet if you wanted to, but makes it really easy to store that away and take up much less space than with it laying down. But of course, if you want it sitting down, you can do that. To set it back up, same thing, pull the big blue handle let it flop up and now you're locked into place. We also have a secondary position, pull the handle again, put it down for a little lower, a little shorter uh, pusher. So again, two different positions on the handle that vary a couple of inches. Pull that up, store it away, 
back down and locks it into place. Nice aluminum handle, very sturdy mower as well. The headlight on the front, as soon as you pull the ring back, that's going to light that headlight, and then when you let go, it's still going to run a few seconds. Now, this light is not drawing a lot of current. People think that this may be kind of gimmicky here in Florida. We think that's a great idea because when it's 100 degrees in the summertime, we like to mow at dusk and maybe even later on. So that headlight there is very nice to be able to see where you're going. And again, you're not going to notice the difference if you were able to turn that off and the difference of, of charge in the battery. So that's drawing very little current to give you the light that you need. So the heart. 21 inch uh, 40 volt brushless mower with the two batteries comes with the two six amp hour batteries uh, you're looking at 498 dollars for the mower with the kit with two batteries and the charger and that's going to give you a five-year warranty on the mower and three-year warranty on the batteries Just literally lift it up and then hang the uh, hang those two pegs right there on that plastic. There it is. Easy as that. That's it. Awesome. This is the Hart 26 inch 40 volt brushless hedge trimmer. Let me pull the guard off here. You get a very large cut capacity so you don't have to worry about the size branches that you're cutting. Gonna cut, cut very easy. You have a trigger here and auxiliary trigger here that you can be, that can be grabbed really anywhere, kind of a full ring design. And the cool thing about this, if you're doing the face of this hedge rather than turning it sideways, I can grab this blue trigger here turn that 90 degrees or 45 degrees and it will lock in an index at those different uh, stations if you will so five different places you can lock that in and index it works really really well comes with a two and a half amp hour battery love that indexing feature and you're looking at 198 dollars uh, for the hedge trimmer, the two and a half amp hour 40 volt battery, and the charger. Wasp? Oh yeah. Get you? Yep, got me. God, did you get that on tape? <laughs> hey, let's go do this. Let's go do the other one. Man, right on the finger too. That's gonna hurt. Those hurt bad. God. Much lighter and quieter too. Pull the blue one up. Pull that and rotate. Yep. Oh yeah. There you go. Then we have the PowerFit edger attachment and it attaches to the carbon fiber 
string trimmer as well and it will work on probably a lot of your your gas components also so if you already have attachment ready string trimmers this will work on it 77 dollars runs an eight inch blade and looks like a pretty typical edger blade that you could probably replace with about anything uh, it works really well easy to adjust you just turn the thumb screw on this wheel and you can run that up and down to adjust the height uh, to be able to adjust the height of the depth that you're wanting to cut. $77 from uh, any of your local Walmarts as well as your walmart.com. He gives up, yeah. This is the Hart 40 volt brushless carbon fiber 15 inch attachment capable string trimmer. So you can see here we have it in string trimming mode or we could take this off and put the edger on it. The edger does not come with it that's separate, but you get a carbon fiber shaft so it's nice and stiff. And it really does, even though this is an attachment capable, a lot of times you'll, you'll feel some flex in here, but it really has a nice uh, stiff feeling here. You can obviously move the handle forward and back. We also have a low and a high speed as well. So if you're string trimming around something uh, more sensitive, you can slow that down if you want to. Comes with a four amp hour battery, and this is $250. You get a five year warranty on the string trimmer and a three year warranty on the 40 volt battery. Get a 15 inch reach on the string trimmer head. And it is a bump feed head. It also runs 095 line. So you can run basically your commercial size line in 095. So you're gonna be able to cut the heavy stuff and it not just kind of wilt away like the smaller line likes to do. So it is a bump feed head. And it's also very easy to add string to this. You get a little crank with it and you crank the new string in, very easy to do. You don't have to have, you don't have to take the head apart to do that. Uh, so 250 bucks for the string trimmer. This is the Hart 40 volt brushless ultra quiet blower. Uh, you're looking at 600 CFM and 155 miles per hour. The, the reason they call it ultra quiet is because it's really quiet. And while it might not be noticeable on camera and picking up in the audio, when you're actually using it, it doesn't have that high pitch whine 
that a lot of battery powered blowers have and that's due to the brushless motor turning a turbine fan and a lot of that sound is coming from the intake and you just don't have it on this even with the power boost so we have a power boost button we can pull the throttle all the way up we can also use like a cruise control where we can where we can set that speed and not have to pull the button but on the top here we have a power boost button so even a wide open throttle i can pull that and get additional thrust there and even so i'm still not hearing a lot of that whine and if you'll look down inside here we have kind of a cone shaped or funnel shaped design and we even have some foam in here that's enabling that to be much quieter than your typical blower so very powerful handheld battery powered blower that's really quiet you're looking at 198 dollars for the blower and the five amp hour battery and the charger three-year warranty on uh, the battery and a five-year warranty on the blower Yeah, that makes a big difference, that little boost thing. Yeah. Well, we left all that great Hart 40 volt lawn care equipment over with our good buddy Rob, and he will continue to use those and provide us feedback. In fact, we'll actually go over and do kind of a six week checkup, if you will, and follow up with him on what are the pros and what are the cons, because he's always kind of been, as we mentioned, kind of that gearhead, petrol head, uh, having, you know, two stroke equipment, then four stroke equipment and the, you know, the pros and the cons of having those and turning over a new leaf to battery powered stuff. And not only that stuff you can find in your local Walmart. So we will continue to follow up with him. I will tell you his initial impressions and we text and call back and forth quite often as he's very impressed with the performance that he's getting out of the mower, the blower, the string trimmer, uh, the hedge trimmer, and on and on, everything basically. Oh, and the chainsaw. He absolutely loves the chainsaw. So again, we'll have another video where we follow up on that, but you can check out all that equipment we talked about. We have links in the description. You can find them at your local Walmart. You can find them on walmart.com. Also, you should check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. And if you haven't done so already, will you hit that like and subscribe button? And by all means, if you hated our video, then give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.